he was one of these quiet, silent guys because we had all this personality in front of him. But you could see the potential. It was going to be no time at all before John became that guy. Back from feeds, Carlson fired. He scores. The kid does it again in the clutch. John Carlson brings pretty much everything. John Carlson, overtime winner. Wow! 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 It is Carlson. Uh, when he's coming down and taking that shot in the middle of the ice, I would not want to be in front of it because it's as hard as anybody's. He brings confidence to the game. I think uh, he's a mature player. He can play, it doesn't matter what kind of situation it is. Huge hit with a shoulder. John Carlson, hook checked off his stick by Carlson. He is out there every other shift. So that just goes to show you how important he is to this team. He's just a horse. He can play big minutes. He's just that rock on the back end. You know, it was a good chunk of years there where he really was the you know, top three defenseman in, in the entire league. He should have been an all-star almost every year he's played. That's just how good he is. What a beauty, John Carlson! When you think of how good the Washington Capitals have been in the last 15 years, They've always been one of the best teams in the league, and John Carlson has been there for all of them. Number 74, John Carlson! If you're from this area and you're a Caps fan, it's like he's almost homegrown, and he is. This is his town. You know, he might have been born in Massachusetts and raised in New Jersey. He's now a Washingtonian. I think it's special just being only with only here. It's a unique uh, sports community, unique city, obviously. Remember that moment? Yes. A uh, hard shooting, hard hitting, in your face physical defense, and they'll develop John Carlson the right way. But looking this back, I think as a an older guy, I think getting drafted to a certain organization or team matters a lot. When they drafted Carlson, everyone around the organization was really excited, and a lot of them said, this is going to be our number one defenseman in time. They knew John was going to take a little bit of time to actually get to Washington, but they knew that when he got here, he was going to be an impact player. I'm pretty confident in my game, and I know what I can do out there, so you know, I'm just going to stick to it and, and do my job every day. John has always had this uh, incredible confidence about him. He's never doubted. He's his ability um, since the first day I met him. November 20th, 2009, the NHL debut for John Carlson. Yeah, he's come a long way from a, a young kid that sees himself as, as a, a top tier defenseman probably before anyone else did. And that's why he got there so fast. That's got to be my first yeah, year. It's, it's been crazy times for me. Uh, from the point when I got drafted, it's a kid coming from New Jersey. You know, I didn't know how anything went. Uh, I was just along for the ride. Yeah, that's a, that's old. That's real old. <laughs> that's my reaction to that one. Thinking back to the beginning, you know, when you first kind of break through and make the team, and then your role grows and the ups and downs and everything. It's cool to last a while in, in one place and, and make so many great memories and friends with those people. This is a uh, spree of videos. Uh, we're talking a little bit about the travel and the NHL road trips. I'm sitting with a couple kids that are just fresh faced to the NHL. Just a little funny story. The first time I ever I went <laughs> on one of those planes, it was uh, my first exhibition game. Oh god, yeah, I remember this. You do? Oh, yeah. Mom. She's like, so how was the flight? I was like, oh, it's unbelievable, Mom. I was like, they were serving beef Wellington. I don't even know what that was. I would have been 18 the time of that story. That was cool. That was, that was like, a, man, this is how they get around. And we used to long bus trips, and now you get good food and some nice digs, no matter where you go. Should I open the next one? OK, here we go. Where are we? I'm standing outside of Mira. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, it's about time to have some lunch. Sounds good. 
I'm starving. <laughs> Can you please uh, tell everybody what we're up to right now? Sushi. It's uh, just young. Off day in Carolina, and uh, maybe see a movie after. Do you have any idea what movie? Uh, they're talking about Sherlock Holmes, but we'll see. Is uh, a movie? Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> for our John J. Beagle. Just gonna go grab a Starbucks. Hey, Vogue, this is Cat 180. With Carl and John. How was your Starbucks? I'll let you know later. You let me know? Alright. <laughs> That's funny. Everyone looks a lot different now. Me, Carl, and Vogsy. What do you think about your D partner? My D partner, he's got to pass the puck over to me a little bit more on the blue line. He'd get more points if he did that. We were roommates, and so me and John, uh, I'd say we had similar eating habits. And one of them was we would just eat junk food whenever. We were in New York, the Four Seasons in Central Park, and it was like one of those times where we walk into the hotel and we're like, where are we? You know, like this is the NHL. This is really cool. What floor are we, Carl? Is that the new camera? Yeah. yeah. We're vlogging. Caps 365. Here we are. And so we didn't even think about it. We just picked up the phone and says, hey, can we get, get ice cream? So they come in and it's two pints, m and m sprinkles, whipped cream, all this stuff. And we're like, this is amazing. And uh, we go to check out the next day, we look at the bill, and it was 120 bucks. Two pints of ice cream. <laughs> like Home Alone, lost in New York, just ordering everything to the room and just being idiots, but it was fun. I see my, the, my first goal in Carolina. Over the line with Fair, and the trailer, Carlson, who scores! For the first time in the National Hockey League, he gets one! It's just a very memorable uh, moment of anybody's career. I wasn't a call up at this point, it was the next season, so I was playing a lot and I had some good chances uh, before this one too, so it was kind of a relief as well on all fronts. Carlson is very calm and measured. He picks his spots. He's playing smart. When we talk about John, we're talking about the guy that is methodical in what he does, the guy that does the crossword. He's extremely smart, Mr. Crossword. He's just like that, he knows things that you'd never expect him to know. Johnny is by far our number one crossword guy. And Johnny not only finishes the USA Today in record time, but then moves on to, I believe, the New York Times after that. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. It does not surprise me to hear that he does the New York Times crossword puzzle because he has an incredibly high hockey IQ. Other guys can't spell crossword and like he's the, the professor back there. History in the making there, John Carlson is 500th assist. It doesn't look like it's hard for him. John Carlson, now the second highest goal scoring defender in Capitals history. He lets things develop and then he makes it look easy. I think John is a great hockey player, but even better person. I mean, he's open, social, like talks a lot in the in the locker room. I mean, these young guys that come up, I think they look at John Carlson and go, wow, he's going up to these players. You need any help? Give me a call. Oh, it's all right. It's the grass. What's up, buddy? Took the wrong, uh, took the wrong lane here, so I'm on my way to Baltimore. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Welcome to DC. All right, I gotta run. John Carlson's leadership has certainly evolved. I mean, you know, he's worn a letter and a sweater for a number of years now, and rightfully so. We kind of growing up together as the leaders. You know, he helped me, he helped uh, lots of players around him too, uh, growing up. Oh. Oh, my. So John off the ice is, it's funny. He likes to chirp guys. He likes to be involved in the jokes. Oh. 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 He is the guy who is poking and prodding and he keeps the energy level up. Okay, I'm watching my breath, Definitely a leader. Just a guy that you look at him like, oh, that guy can lead people. He knows what he's doing. The most games by a defenseman in franchise history. John Carlson. Oh. 
Johnny's a guy that I know that I can go to. He's always a, a presence and a guy that you look up to, and he's just been a solid leader for this group for a long time. This one is, oh, Hershey. So after I played juniors, I, I went to Hershey, and we won that year. And then this year, and then I went back and played in the playoffs. I think once you win, you it almost makes it the passion for it burn even more. Having success kind of breeds success. I mean, you, you've done something right at some level, and that means a lot, individually and collectively. Winning begets winning. And if you don't learn how to win, you accept losing. That's why you have the Johns and the Alexes. These guys are winners, and you want to be surrounded by winners because they don't let you lose. Carlson walks it off. Carlson waits. Fire score! When you talk about that Stanley Cup team in 2018, John Carlson was the best defenseman on planet Earth for a month and a half. Carlson jumps into the high slot, gets it in front, he scores! Carlson could have garnered some Conn Smythe attention too. He was that good. Off the face off, the Capitals have won it! The capital of the country is the capital of the hockey playoffs! I've won at a few different levels, but once you win the Stanley Cup, it's just a whole different level. A uh, dream come true and... Yeah, that was funny. Three-year-olds don't understand that. Dad needs to uh, answer a few questions before he starts wiping sweat off my face. When you see Johnny with his kids, you can just tell that this guy would do anything for him. That one was better, no? No. When John's around his kids, I, I see the same facial expressions and joy that I get being with my kids. So I think when you see that, you know, you know he's a phenomenal dad. <laughs> to see him be a dad for his three boys and his little girl, it's, it's an amazing scenery. I mean, he's, he's a great dad. He's patient, he's calm, he just kind of didn't even, didn't even skip a beat and still was able to balance you know, home life with hockey life and thrive at the same time. His game went to another level after him and Gina started having kids. He's got such a great family. Gina and all the kids now, it's, uh, it's a crazy clan over there, and it's always a lot of fun when the Carlson kids are, are in the house and buzzing around. Luca in the lineup. Left wing, Alex Ovechkin. He was so nervous, but after you could tell how much it meant to him to, to do that, which was good. Defense, John Carlson. There's a couple tough names on there. I was proud of him. That's not easy to do for an eight-year-old. That's a super cool memory that he'll have, and, and certainly I'll remember. We won the game before my dad did it. So I think that he would probably have the same feeling that I did for Luca. So everything comes full circle. Obviously, it's been a, a long, great career that you know I couldn't have dreamt of. So when you get a chance to reflect. These moments, when you hit a milestone, all of a sudden it means so much more. Let's go, Cap! Let's go! John Carlson tonight will become the third player in team history and the first defenseman to play in 1,000 National Hockey League games. Huge, huge milestone tonight for number 74. We've got some starter guests here. With Johnny, it's amazing just to see how much guys in the room look up to him, and he's been a staple for the last 10 to 15 years in this organization. And Congratulations to number 74, John Carlson. Hockey isn't based on favoritism. The coach puts over the boards the guys who are getting the job done. And when you're Carlson, who is still playing on some nights 30 minutes a night, that's not charity. That's because he's helping us win games. Stone, better shooting angle. That's ready to the front, back door. Stone! John Carlson! That ties it with Kevin Hatcher for the most goals by a defenseman in franchise history.
when you think of the defensemen that the Washington Capitals have had from Rod Langway to Mike Green to John Carlson, you sit back and you realize the greatness. It's special to play in this league. It's special to play for one team and a great team and meeting, you know, lifelong friends and, and getting to battle and have some ups and downs and triumphs and um, it's, been a, it's been a heck of a run. A thousand NHL games. To do it at one organization is probably extra special because that means not only did someone see something in you when you're a 17 year old kid, but they also trusted you enough to have you be that guy that comes up through the organization. They see your potential, they let you get to your potential, and then they let you lead the next generation of players that come in. It's very rare, but also very special.